What is up everybody? Today we're going to check out a really cool plugin from Boom Library called Lift Effects. This is a riser and downer engine. It's very simple, but it's, you know, it's it's simple in its function, but it's very complex and versatile once you get into all of the options. So um, this is just some drums and then a bunch of different lift effects just showing you the different variety of risers and stuff that you can get from it. And then we'll take a look at the interface. So this plugin may seem very simple, like a one-trick pony, but I was really impressed with the variety of things that you can do with it. Um, as far as modulation and the different options, it's very, very flexible, and it, everything is basically able to tailor fit your production, whether it be how long the riser lasts, the kind of automation um, and side chaining going on. So let's just check it out with this one here we'll we'll show you um i'll show you the different options as well as the presets so if you click this here you have a bunch of different presets the initial preset is called welcome to lift effects and it kind of just gives you an idea of what you can do and all of these risers are pitched across your keyboard so whatever key you play the riser will be in that pitch if it has tonal elements So if you want to change the pitch range, just go over here. So you can do that. You can um, adjust the duration. Mostly you will probably sync to your DAW's tempo. And then you can also set the duration. So we can do really, really short or longer. So four bars, so one bar, half notes, whatever. To something really, really short like that. Um, now for the different effects here, you can do it forwards, backwards. You can set it to automation inside of your DAW, or you can do it to your mod wheel. So you can do it live on the fly, which is really, really cool. You can make these risers last basically for the entire song if you really want to um, because you control it with the mod wheeler with automation so if you if you want to change the duration totally so it's controlled by you the user you can do that um, you can also go backwards with the riser now you see here these different things going on this is what is actually you know the motion that the riser has is all determined by this so the shape here let's it goes by progress which means it progresses as it goes you can also do this reverse so let's check that out so now I've reversed everything so it'll go reverse progression with each of these different effects the shape noise filter noise LFO and the drive So it's really cool. Now let's check out some of the presets. Just we have basic noise sweeps and and filter sweeps and stuff like that. Then you can just reverse that to go into the next measure. A 
let's speed it up a bit. If you want to add side chaining, so it will progress progressively add the side chaining effect as it goes, just like this. So again, you can do that with the mod wheel. So it's really cool the different options here. We can adjust, you know, stereo width, drive, whatever. We have little flybys like that, which goes from left to right or right to left inside of your headphones or your stereo speakers. We have some rhythmic presets here. You have some downers. Uh, and more complex down lifters or downers. So stuff like that, which is really cool. That one had a random LFO function going on. Again, I'm doing this all in C, but you can change the, um, the pitch of this just by pressing a different key. Let's go to the tonal. So we have noise. The noise ones were like the white noise filters and stuff like that. Now we have tonal, um, uplifter, basic, complex, rhythmic. So let's check out some rhythmic ones. Okay, that one's going to be really long. I'm going to speed it up here. But again, you could have that going on. It was, I think, you know, 16 bars. So you can have that going that long if you want as well. So I know a lot of people use samples for risers or maybe you do it with a synth. You load in white noise and you have a low pass filter to come in and you automate the filter. Um, this basically makes everything a bit easier because um, all of those rhythmic effects are kind of programmed in. The side chaining is as easy as just, you know, setting it over here and then doing it with your mod wheel or having it progress as the riser or downer um, is played, stuff like that. And then we have uh, some mod wheel tools, tonal. Let's check these out. <laughs> So you can just do stuff like that. And then bonus drums and builds. So you get all kinds of stuff just like that. These are perfect just to drag and drop into your track. Great for EDM. Also great for trailer music, hybrid music, um, hybrid orchestral where you want to have, you know, a really big riser and impact. Um, really, really useful tool. It's pretty versatile and you can do snares and snare uh, fills with it as well as noise lifters and downers, tonal lifters and downers, and all kinds of rhythmic modulation going on as well. So... That was a quick look at Lift Effects. Really nice tool. Thanks for checking this one out with me. I'll see you guys next time.